Hey, what's up? It's Jared. I wanted to talk about the number one calendar that I think that you need to have in Notion. Now, calendars have been a tricky thing with Notion because you can't set recurring calendar entries and you can't sync it with different services. And so using Notion as a calendar can be kind of a time consuming process. And in struggling with how to utilize a calendar in Notion, I came up with the idea of actually having an interactions calendar instead. So instead of trying to track my different activities and meetings and different things that I have going on in my life in Notion like I would a typical calendar, I just gave up on that idea altogether and decided to use Notion to track my interactions. And so whether I am interacting with my wife or my kids or uh, a client or doing a job, I enter that into my interaction calendar and that allows me to tie that interaction into pretty much everything else that I track within Notion. So let me explain how this works. If I have a meeting with a client, I will put a new entry in my interaction calendar for that date and I will even put the time in there as well. I have a couple of templates that I built out for meetings, consultations, uh, just generalized relationship building, like if I'm on a date with my wife or if I take one of my kids out or if I'm hanging out with one of my friends. And so I'm easily able to go in and actually fill out information into the page so that I can remind myself of the things that were talked about uh, or dealt with or whatever through that time that I spent with someone else. So these days, obviously, I'm doing a lot more time on the phone or in a video call like a Zoom session. And so it's easier for me to take notes in real time as things are happening with my interactions. But in standard interactions where you're meeting face to face with someone, it would be a little bit weird to have your interactions calendar opening up and entering all of your stuff into your interaction calendar. So it's often that I will have my iPad Pro with me or my iPhone and I will go in and add some notes into that interaction afterwards. So of course, before the meeting or the interaction, I have it added and then after the interaction is over, I go in and add those notes or thoughts or whatever that need to be there. So the interaction calendar also ties in with a lot of other databases that I have in Notion. So if, I, uh, if it's an interaction for a client, I attach that to the client in my client CRM. If we're talking about an open project or even a new project, I add that into my client project section. If there are tasks that are created as part of the interaction, like maybe I'm meeting with a client and they have new things that they want me to complete, I enter those in as tasks and I can do all of that right from within that interaction in the interaction calendar. And then of course I can go into those individual entries into my tasks or into the project manager and fill that out even more uh, after the interaction is over. But I also have it linked up to my daily log. So if my interaction is with my wife, like for example, this last Sunday, we went on a date, we went out to dinner, we just got to enjoy the evening together, I was able to utilize that time uh, to just connect with her. And we talked about a lot of different things and I like to be able to recall what those are over a period of time. Sometimes uh, a few things will stick out and we'll remember those, but maybe not everything that we talked about. Or maybe we talked about a specific topic and I want to make sure that I remember everything that we talked about, I will go and enter it into my interactions calendar and of course make sure that the interaction is connected with her because then I can go into my contact CRM and I can see every interaction that I've had with that person, which is absolutely great. I could even go and set up a custom view for my interactions calendar to just show all of the interactions that I've had with my wife. So this is great because it's helping me with my communication. A lot of times her and I are talking about things and I may not remember every little thing that we talked about. Not that I need to keep track of every little thing, but if there are things that I want to make sure I remember, I put it in my interactions calendar so that I have a record of it and I don't end up forgetting about it. And it's easy for me to go and recall because I have it right there in the interactions calendar. 
Uh, like I said before, tasks are linked up, uh, expenses are linked up as well. So my expense log that I have in Notion that I've talked about uh, in a past video is linked up because uh, like dinner with my wife, that there was an expense there. We went and had a couple of drinks beforehand and an appetizer and then went to another restaurant and had dinner. And so through that process and then the drive there and everything, there were expenses that incurred. And so I like to track that stuff. And not just with dates, I'm using that as an example. It's probably more important when I meet with a client and we have coffee and I paid for coffee, being able to link that expense up with the interaction and be able to go back and say, okay, what was that coffee uh, receipt for? You know, was it for a client meeting or was I just getting coffee? And so being able to separate all of those is really great and I can do that. I could even show just the interactions that had an expense or I can go into my expense log and show the same, just the interactions that had, uh, or just the expenses that had an interaction tied to it, which is pretty cool. So I love the fact that this interactions calendar is giving me a way to keep track of interactions that I have with people. I've even been doing some Notion consulting lately, which is something I didn't intend to do, but I've been getting requests, and so I've been making a little bit of my time available for consulting. Uh, I've been meeting with some interesting people and learning some interesting things about them and what they do. And so whether it's that or a conversation that we end up having after the consultation is over, or what we're actually talking about in Notion and what I'm helping them with, I add that to my interaction log in my interaction calendar as well so that I can go back to that. Because if we have another consulting session later, I wanna be able to easily recall everything that we talked about and what we worked on before, which is really important uh, to make sure that we're utilizing the time uh, to the best possible uh, and not wasting any time playing catch up during a consultation call, which of course is a waste of time and money on the behalf of the other person. So my interactions calendar has really become a key part of my life and a huge part of how I use Notion. It integrates with almost every database that I have in Notion and I'm entering into my uh, interactions calendar multiple times a week, sometimes even multiple times a day to keep track of all of those interactions. Now I don't keep track of every little interaction that I have with everybody, that would be tedious. I only keep track of interactions that were scheduled or that were like dedicated conversations uh, or one-on-one -on -one situations that I had with people. So if I end up you know, hanging out with my son for a few minutes uh, while we're waiting to leave or whatever, I'm probably not gonna make that an interaction. But if we have a real connection, if there's something we talk about that's important that I wanna remember, I will put that in as an interaction. If I run into a client, uh, you know, out and about and we talk about the weather or something like that, I'm not gonna enter that into my interactions calendar. But if we actually have a moment where we discuss something that is going to relate to something else, else, I want to remember that and I enter that into my interactions calendar. So the interactions calendar is more for actual conversations, not just the, you know, quick moments that people are passing. I definitely don't need to keep track of those, but things that I want to remember, things of importance, things that are going to require me taking action uh, or that I want to remember so that I can recall them later, those go into my interactions calendar. So I just wanted to share how that works with you. I've got a interactions calendar template down below that is fairly basic where your interactions calendar is really Really going to come into play and become powerful is when you tie it in to a lot of the other things that you're utilizing Notion for. But I have a template for you down below, so make sure to click that link and check it out if you want to implement that or even give it a try within Notion. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks so much. Make sure to subscribe to my newsletter as well. I have productivity tips and things that I'm working on as well as some of my other projects that I'd love to share with you. I have articles and other videos that I come across that impact me and help me become more productive and just better overall uh, person and emotionally intelligent, and I'd love to share those with you as well. Those are the kinds of things that you can expect from my newsletter, so make sure to check that out in the link below in the description. But that's going to do it for today, so I hope to see you back in the next one. Click that subscribe button, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and until next time, take care.